Well, the last time our guest today, Mrs. Mary Moody Northern from Galveston, Texas, was here in Virginia, we went up and visited her at her hotel, the Motel Mountain Lake, and we had a perfectly marvelous time visiting there. But Mrs. Northern, while you were there, we didn't have time to get into one of your other major interests, and I wanted everybody to know about that, and that's the subject of VMI. You are a little bit unique. In fact, I think we'll just have to flatly say you are unique. I think you are the only female rat that belongs to VMI. <laughs> well, I'm told that it's the case, and I'm very proud of the fact, too. I think we, should, we should back up and fill everybody in on this. Are you actually officially an alumna of VMI? Honorary alumna. Honorary yeah. alumna. How did yeah. that all come about? Well. I don't know, except that my great interest my entire life in VMI, and of course my father was there also, the class of 86. And so, and he, so he, we, we want to bring this up again. He was an alumna of Holland's College, which makes a funny story, but when he really grew up and went to school, he went to VMI. Yes. Now, fill me in. Your family was Virginian, but moved to Texas and came back east to go to school. Yes, my father did. That was the story on that. Well, now you are unique in another way for VMI. You are the only woman serving on some special board. Yes, the foundation board. What, what does that VMI. board do? What's involved with your work there? Well, it's more of a development board in connection with the funds to help VMI in many ways. Well, the reason I'm interested in this, I am so heartfelt in thinking that more women should serve on more boards, getting a woman's voice in on things. <laughs> do you have a difficult time working with nothing but men? Do they shout you down and keep you from talking? Oh, absolutely not. You mean you get up and in say things fact, now and then? Yes. And if I wish to say anything, I always do. I'm accustomed to being on boards with men. In fact, uh, I am on some with men and women, but Really, it's so seldom that I feel a little out of place almost. <laughs> what are your areas of interest? Where do you feel that you can say something to you? Are you interested in the academic end or in the money-raising end, or what do you think is your strength? Well, I don't know. I've always been interested in business my entire life since my earliest recollection. And so then, uh, succeeding my father uh, with the head of his interests, why? threw me into the business world. Well, let's back up a little bit more. This whole thing of you being in business, you look very feminine and very diminutive, and you don't look <laughs> like a businesswoman of the, of the world. You got into it at an early age, you say. No, very late in life. After most women are retired, I was just starting. What happened? How, tell us that story. Well, after my father passed away, he left me the head of, of his interests. Which were many, and most in, in Texas? Yes, and quite diversified. Newspapers, I know. And, and, uh, uh, yes, many things. There were the American National Insurance Company and a hotel chain and uh, newspapers. And Mountain Lake is just one, but that happens to be your favorite, I think. <laughs> well, I have always been fond of Mountain Lake. It's just been a second home to me my entire life, even before we had any interest in it whatsoever. I was there. I supposed just an infant when I went first. And I well, really love it. So your father seemed to think you had a head for business and uh, wanted you to move in to kind of run things. Well, he and I were as close as father and daughter could be, and many thought we looked alike, and we thought alike and acted alike, and he knew I knew his wishes, and he could depend on me to carry them out. And then we had, of course, a foundation, a printing company, and three newspapers, and many, many things. How do you feel about women and things? All of these big universities around the country now are talking about maybe going co-ed. Would you think VMI would ever go co-ed? I mean, after all, you're an alumna now. <laughs> well, perhaps so, but I just can't imagine such. You can't see them in the military uh, background there? No, absolutely not. But your, your interests have lain in philanthropy and in the world of education. Do you have any ideas that you could pass along to our viewers that you think maybe women could participate more in, in uh, areas of volunteer work and so on? Well, I imagine they could to quite an extent, but I've just been in rather a different world from that, except uh, in recent years with these uh, college boards, and uh, it has been most 
interesting to me. Uh, your, your spade digging and so forth and, and uh, getting ready for opening up of new buildings has led you to many different areas. You did some of that just recently. Oh, yes. I have quite a reputation for being the best digger I was. Someone should give you a special gold <laughs> shovel, I think, for all the work you do along that line. Well, I have had many souvenirs that way. You're telling me you've met so many interesting people in your travels, and even just lately, Bob Hope. What did you think of him? Well, it was most interesting. He and his wife were the honor guests at Southern Methodist University in Dallas, and dedicating a theater that he gave them, and uh, I was asked to be present and enjoyed it very much. He was, he was more sober sides than we usually see him on television. <laughs> well, well uh, he was most interesting and enjoyable, very witty, of course. I, I think we can't close this interview without <laughs> saying the reason why Mrs. Northern happens to be in town, and this, of course, is being played at a later date, but you came for a very special game, and I guess you do this almost every year, don't you? Oh, yes. Well, I came to attend the board meeting this morning, oh. and then you see the BMI VPI football game tomorrow, and then I'm going over to Lexington, to attend the ring figure dance and the hop the firing night and many I, other festivities I of don't the know weekend. of any alumna <laughs> alumnus who is more loyal than to travel all the way from Texas to come for a football game. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Mary Moody Northern, it's been a delight to have you here on Panorama today. Well, thank you very much. I enjoyed it immensely and appreciate this opportunity to tell you these things. Good. <laughs>